Should Apple consider buying Peloton? Welcome everybody, welcome my favorite people to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single video. Now during the pandemic, Peloton's sales exploded and they were able to reach a market cap of $50 billion. But after slumping sales and woeful manufacturing delays, Peloton's market cap has now plummeted to a mere $8 billion, which to be fair, is still impressive. With the stock sliding, investors have grown uneasy, with at least one large investor speaking out. Blackwell Capital, which owns 5% of Peloton, has went on the record writing a letter that the CEO of Peloton, John Foley, should immediately be fired, and Peloton should explore sales to other companies such as Apple, Nike, Sony, and Disney. Since then, John Foley has stepped down and announced several job cuts coming to 20% of Peloton's workforce. Rumors have started to swirl that three big players have come under the radar as possible suitors for Peloton. It started with Amazon as being one of the most likely suitors for Peloton with them exploring a bid to buy out the company. It followed that Nike may as well be interested and Apple has also been put into the mix. Especially with Amazon in the running, it makes all the more sense that Apple should at least explore buying Peloton. If you were unaware, Amazon is one of the biggest competitors for Apple. They have their own line of Fire tablets, they have their Fire streaming TV sticks, and there's a whole bunch of competition between them and the smart home space between Amazon's virtual assistant, Siri, HomeKit, and all of that. And it's very unlikely that Apple wants to see Amazon grow even larger with this large foothold into the health space. Amazon has been reaching into the health space with new wearables and Fitbit-like products. We've seen the, uh, the Halo band that we reviewed here on Apple Insider, and there's many others that they've been exploring. So it's just more reason that Apple should be looking at Peloton. Peloton does seem to be a good fit, at least theoretically, for Apple. Peloton does make some of those premium spinning hardware out there, as well as its treadmill products, and that fits with Apple's line of creating the premium products in other spaces. So Apple doesn't have any hardware in the health space other than Apple Watch. So by jumping in with Peloton, it could give them a big step up in launching connected fitness hardware. Peloton could also bolster sales of Apple Watch and Apple Fitness Plus and help entrench Apple further into the living room. Apple already integrates Apple Watch with Gym Kit into select Peloton bikes and if Peloton bikes were able to incorporate directly into Apple TV, where many people stream Apple Fitness Plus, it could be another benefit to another hardware product, being the Apple TV. While it does seem Peloton could be a good purchase for Apple, it's also important to be cautious. Apple has been hesitant in the past to buy out large companies. In fact, the last large purchase and acquisition from Apple was Beat back in 2014, which was valued at around $3 billion. With a current valuation of 12 to $15 billion, Peloton would be five times the cost of Beats. That's not to say Apple won't make a large purchase like this. Tim Cook himself said that Apple would be doing large acquisitions if it made sense. So Apple will spend the money if it needs to, it just doesn't do it all that often. Peloton would be a big manufacturing overhaul for Apple as well. Apple would have to move from manufacturing things like iPhones, iPads, and maybe large Macs to a large fitness bike that is a lot larger and heavier to ship. Apple would have to deal with the entire manufacturing and logistics process, which may be more than it wants to deal with. That said, it could also still run Peloton as its own company and just largely help out where it can and integrate Peloton into its products and services that it already offers. It doesn't seem like it's likely that Apple will necessarily buy Peloton, but it does make sense in a lot of ways. I would be surprised if Apple bought Peloton, but I can't say I wouldn't be excited if they did. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments or over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned. Be sure to be subscribed and have those notifications turned on.